Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can already see from the title of today's video, it's not a story time, it's not a vlog, it's more of a message. It's more about sending positive vibes towards you guys and for anybody who really needs to hear something like this today. Or maybe if you find this video sometime down the road, maybe the message will be relatable to you then. So before I start talking about what I want to talk about, there's a couple things I want to preface first. There are three philosophies that I live my life by. Number one, chase happiness, not money. Number two, I will never be the best at anything that I do. There will always be somebody out there who does it better than me. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. That's actually a good way to help push yourself to be better at what you want to be better at. And number three, no matter how much pain and turmoil you're going through, most likely there is somebody out there who's been through so much worse. And once you can put that into perspective, at least for me, it was always the kick that I needed to know that I could still keep going. Normally with a video like this, I would go scripted. That way I wouldn't forget everything that I want to say and I'd have everything in point form. But with a topic like this, I feel like it's better to just say things from the heart and just let the words flow through. When I was a kid, I had a pretty normal life. And I had a complete family. I had my mom, I had my dad, I had my brother. We all moved from the Philippines when I was three years old, came to Canada. A few years later, my grandma and grandpa came, they lived with us. And up until I was 10 years old, life was pretty normal in terms of being a child for me. Celebrating all the major holidays, all the traditions that you know we had back in Philippines as well, all those things I grew up with. And then one day, everything changed. My mom died, and afterwards we went through so many financial troubles, constantly moving from place to place, unable to afford rent, filling up gas $5 at a time, because that's all we could afford, not being able to insure our cars, but still driving around. That's what my dad did, you know, when we were growing up. And I knew it wasn't normal. I knew I was going through um, what, you know, most people would consider a hard time. And yes, it was hard for me because I wasn't thinking about the world. I was thinking about myself and I was thinking about how much it sucked for me. And that's why going through at least that phase of my life, I felt like I had to grow up a lot quicker than most kids my age. This is when two of the philosophies that I live by came into play. Number one, and the biggest thing that helped me through at least that part of my life was, you know, knowing that no matter how hard my life sucks right now, sucks could be a relative word, you know, a lot of people uh, complain about not being able to go out one night because their mom said that they're not allowed. And on the other spectrum of things, some people don't even have a mom to tell them to stay home. And that's when the point of, you know, somebody always has it a lot worse than you out there. That's when that came into play for me. That's how I felt like I could get through that chapter of my life. I just kept thinking that. I'm like, there's, there's got to be somebody out there who's going through a lot worse than me. And yet they're pushing through still. So why can't I? Why can't I be that person too? And I carried that thought, that mentality through all of that. And I still carry it to this day. Whenever something bad happens to me, I think about that. And I, I mentioned it before, it's a very bad lesson that my mom indirectly taught me. She didn't mean to teach me this, but you know, just seeing how her life played out and the things that she wasn't able to do because of her, her death, it makes me move on to this other philosophy that I had about chasing happiness and not money. And happiness is also one of those words that can't really be defined because what is happiness to you? What is happiness to this person? What is happiness to me? It's all different. We all have our own opinions on what happiness is, but I have a general way of looking at happiness. I've had this conversation so many times with people. I'm asking them like, okay, do you want, you want a nice house? You want a really nice car? But then you want to be unhappy with your spouse? Like, what do you think is going to take precedence um, over your mental and emotional state? if you're ever in that situation. I'll be honest there. I do love my toys, and when I say happiness over money, I don't mean that I'd rather be poor and happy than rich and sad. For me, there's always a balance. Like, 
I still can control my life. I can still control my finances if I have to. I still want things in my life that I want to get. I still have goals. Everybody should always have goals. But when I say chase happiness and not money, it means don't prioritize making money over your own self-happiness or finding your own happiness. I think happiness has become so underrated with the way society tells you to be, especially this day and age. Everyone's telling you, make money, make money. And where are the people telling you to be happy, be happy? You don't see that that often. I'll tell you now, I am a lot happier than I was five years ago. Because back then, all I worried about was, how can I make money? What can I do to make money? It's funny, I had this conversation with my bosses at work. We were talking about, you know, uh, how I was turning 30 next year, right? I'm 29 now. And they told me, you know, they're well past their 30s by this point. They were like, you know what, man? Honestly, the 30 is the new 20. And I asked them, like, how so? And they said a lot of things that made sense to me. They said, in your 20s, you're poor. <laughs> You know, you have debt, you're trying to go to school, you're trying to figure out your life, you don't have your life figured out quite yet. But by the time you're 30, you're past all that. By this point, you know what you want in life, whether it be relationship stuff, or goals in life, or maybe the person that you want to marry, or whatever it could be. You know what you want. And then I really thought about it, I was like, you know what, like, I am happier than I was five years ago. Like, I know exactly what I want, to a certain extent. There are still some things I'm figuring out, and it would be completely naive of me to say that I know everything that I want in life. Because I truly believe that life itself is a lifelong journey of learning. So I want to tell you this, guys. No matter what you're going through right now, I promise you, it will pass. Things always get worse before they get better. And if you want to find more inner peace, I say this kind of spiritually, if you want to find more inner peace with yourself, you have to accept yourself for who you are and you have to prioritize your own happiness first. I can't stress that enough. Mental health is such an important thing. It could be literally the difference between life and death. Surround yourself with people who don't bring you down but help bring you up. And not people who look down on you but people who walk alongside you. That's the kind of people you want to surround yourself with. And I'm telling you now, because I'm almost 30, I know exactly the type of people that I want in my life. If I talk to you, if, if you're my friend and we hang out, it's because I appreciate you and you bring a certain part of me out that I feel is better for myself. Honestly, there's been times where I meet people and I'm like, you know what, I just can't vibe with you. Like, I'm, I'm never gonna hang out with you again. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. And, you know, time is a valuable thing, guys. So, figure out your self-worth and accept yourself for who you are. There's always room for improvement, though. Don't get me wrong, there's always room for improvement, so hopefully uh, you guys can uh, kind of take something away from what I'm trying to say here. I know I kind of, it is a little bit hard to um, think of everything that I've wanted to say while I'm writing especially. It takes a certain level of multitasking to do all this. But you know, the last philosophy that I talk about is that somebody's always going to be better at you at something. For me, that's more of a competition thing. I'm a very competitive person by nature, so for me, it helps drive and push me to be better. And I think that's something that you guys should also not see as a bad thing. If someone's better than you, you should see it as an inspiration, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm picking up a couple packages here from my aunt's house, and I think I've pretty much said all I needed to say about this. So... I hope you guys uh, can take something away from this and hopefully it can help you through whatever you're going through, um, whether it be now or later if you watch this video. And uh, of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.